cancel Dota, I think, being like the MVP with those crazy invoker combos. So we are going to drop right into ban and pick phase. Nipsu, what do you think about the picks and ban so far? Pretty, pretty, pretty normal. Nothing surprising. I think it might be a mistake for letting Cancel get the invoker again, but let's see. I think the Empire's gonna have something against that, hopefully. Just, I think that was just MVP last game, just doing so much stuff on the map. Yeah, it really seemed like those clutch plays that he made were what kind of tipped balance into their favor. I really do think that Empire had a really good chance of winning that, but uh, didn't really work out. And I don't know, do you feel like maybe if Empire had drafted a different hard carry, like if they had picked maybe like a Spectre or something super late game, would that maybe have been a different outcome? Or do you like Medusa was the right pick there? Hard to say. Um, we haven't seen too much Medusa, but I think she is a viable car. Maybe right. even, um, maybe she should be picked as a mid hero. I'm not sure about her too. yet. Need to see more. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I actually don't mind her mid. I think she's pretty mid but um all right let's drop into our first phase pick so we have kai p gonna pick up the invoker and enchantress i think this might be a sing sing enchantress because last time that they enchantress sing sing played it and it was an insane game sing sing completely wrecked with that hero i think he was like 12 and 0 at like 20 minutes it was it wasn't even 20 minutes, it was like 14 minutes. It was just one of these games where you're just like, all right, just leave the Enchantress alone in her off lane. They just don't have to deal with her. So, And then mm. Team Empire are going to open up with Nature's Prophet Puck. And I'm assuming Puck is going to be facing off against the Invoker. How do you feel about that matchup? Uh, Invoker should win it, but Puck's probably going to do okay again. Like, Invoker's just such a strong laner. I don't know how, how do you do, really beat him. Maybe some ganking heroes. Yeah, well, they'll have the Nature's Prophet and... Do you feel like another roaming hero on Team Empire's side that can rotate in on, on the Invoker? Or are they going to just really have to focus, cancel, and just make sure that he has the most awful laning phase in the world in order to just really shut him down? Yeah. Do you have but... to dedicate that much to the Invoker? Yeah, but even then, Invoker can just go to jungle with the four spirits. and So how do, how do you really shut him down? It's hard to say. Oh, actually, Kai P pick up the Bounty Hunter, and I thought maybe Team Empire would want to pick that up, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's so. not going to be the case. So if we just quickly go over the bans, though, we see KP, they're going to ban out Doom and Gyrocopter, and then we have Team Empire banning out, actually, the Drow Ranger and the Faceless Void. Now, I'm okay with the Faceless Void, but tell me, what the what's the logic behind the Drow Ranger? No, it's just that they already have two, two range heroes, who make Invoker insanely strong. He isn't and it already. also stacks that good old damage with the Enchantress who already has yeah, insane yeah. right click. Ouch, yeah. And actually, the Faceless Void, I think, is a good ban against anyone, any lineup that has Enchantress on. Yeah, so... Enchantress and, and the Invoker. You can just combo in the deck, Rona. Really strong. Team Empire are going to pick themselves up a Bane. I feel like that's lockdown. I like Bane. Good at rotations. Has a lot of lane presence. Can be super effective in the team fights. Yeah, you can just go to the mid lane and <laughs> range zap, be the, be the annoying guy. And you don't get bullied, bullied out by the Baldi Hunter Rider, you're fairly tanky. Alright, and so, I'm just waiting on our next pick. What What is uh, KP's strategy here? Like, what's the what's the next pick up for them? And what's their win condition this draft so far? Not sure, not sure. Um... I really don't know. <laughs> need, need to see <laughs> more heroes here. I like there. the bounty hunter, and I imagine Enchantress might be like rotating kind of early. We'll have yeah. some strike from the Invoker. Like it's on strike with the bounty hunter is just on its own, really good, I think. But on top of having really any other hero, just make that kind of three. Essentially, like having three heroes on the map. You just have two, the bounty hunter, some other core. And then you have Invoker with that Sunstrike, and it's just enough to secure kills. Yeah. And on top of that, the track is really good. I let yeah. Cancel just hopefully oh, try to get as yeah. many kills as he can. So it's going to be super heavy push. Enchantress, yeah. Creeps, yeah, guess Shadow guess Shaman, too. level 6. Yeah. Oh, man. Good. Team Empire pick up that Tuscar. Tell oh, me yeah. about this. I like this. 
Oshgar, it's, Puck, yeah. Bane, oh, love it. This is gonna be a tri lane versus tri lane in the mi in the <laughs> mid lane. It's gonna be Puck, Bane, Tusk. Everybody's gonna be mid. Enchantress, Bound, and the Invoker. It's they're all gonna be in the mid lane. All right, so <laughs> it's gonna be mid wars. Oh, even Furion can <laughs> port there, so they get, they can have a quad lane in the mid. Reserve time. All right, so then that does mean that the off laners are gonna get a lot done in their lanes yeah, farm wise. So who who kind of gets more out of uh like a free lane, the Enchantress or the Nature's Prophet? They can both get a lot, but the, I mean they can still just be in the lanes. It's not like that. Like Bane and Tusk can still be in the safe lane. Yeah, they can they can just do a tri lane mid or tri lane off, whatever. It's just so, to see. Tri lane versus tri lane, though, I feel like the Tusk and the Bane are a little bit stronger. I just, I love Tusk in general with that snowball, the shards, it's a lot of control, it's a lot of lockdown. Then you have Bane, you have the pure damage coming out of Brain Sap. Puck's going to be able to zip in and out and be super mobile. It's going to be a really scary lane. 10 seconds remaining. All right, so KP are going to ban out the Ursa, and then we have Team Empire banning out the Juggernaut. Ember Spirit. And then we're oh. going to see EE -E picking up the Ember oh. Spirit. EE -E Ember Spirit, so excited. Oh, it's going to be like Shanghai all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the Nyx popping his good old carapace. Yeah, but Ember, Ember does fine against the Furion, that's a good thing. You just get a poor man's shield, and then you can... Kill the three ants really fast with the flame guard, so it should do okay. All right, and Team Empire, their last pick. They need a safe laner, and who do you feel would be decent here? There's no oh, jug, no gyro. Reserve time. Mm. They need no something Ursa. to kind of catch the ember, maybe. Well, I guess they have a decent, decent lineup to catch the ember already. Um, I don't know. Is this where Team Empire double down? They just go for someone who is going to have a lot of presence in like the mid game, and you're not going to try to secure late game. Yeah, probably. So again, Kaipi have a really good lineup uh, for late game here in Walker Ember. I'm just kind of trying to think who would be a good choice here. Yeah, Spectre and... would be okay here. Just uh, they have a lot of fighting here heroes here. I don't okay. know. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Exactly. There you go. Call it. Nipsu. Call it. Nipsu yeah. wins. I, I, I love this hero. I love this. This hero, absolutely. Just you can keep well, just fight and fight. On. And we're gonna see Empire, I think, really in their element here, because I feel like Empire. They are. They're the fighting team. They like to fight. Yeah. They're good at fights. Sometimes. Maybe not so much in the last game, but <laughs> in their essence, they are a fighting team. And that's why but, I love about yeah, Empire. The but problem here is Sing Sing is going to get so much out of this lane. There's oh. really nothing I can do about Enchantress. I don't know. It's going to be a tough lane. But on the other hand, Spectre doesn't need that much items from the lane. You just get your basic face uh, earn, and you can just start hunting and killing everybody. And how, out of interest, how does like late game versus late game? How does the Spectre do against the Ember Spirit? Is she. Okay, or does the sight of fist really hurt her? Yeah, like if. Ah, oh, it's hard to say, huh? Um. All right. If... Yeah, I can't catch the ember really that easily, but. Ah, uh, I don't know. But they have they have a pretty good setup to kill the ember though. There's gonna be Furion with possibly Orchid and a Hex. Puck, okay. also a Hex maybe, and he, she has the silence already. Bane with the Crip, Tusk with Snowball and the Boulder's Punch. They can definitely catch in e this game if he tries to try to try to be the greedy, what which he often does, just goes really greedy, keep Crip skips and all that good stuff. But there's one thing that Empire don't have going for them. 
I have a mushroom hat nature's prophet. Oh no. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's lost already. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. The game's already lost, probably. Yep. All right. Well, uh, see you guys at game number game number two, I guess. Or sorry, see you guys for the next round. <laughs> right. So, all right. So, Bones are just gonna love us scouting out. It looks like there's gonna be a fight on this bottom rune. Level one fight. Who takes this? I feel like the level one fight on Team Empire is pretty good. You have the snowball. You have Bane. You have Illusionary Orb. You have maybe the Spectral Dagger, which I think she'll probably go. Let's be honest. Yeah. Pretty, pretty even, I think. So, yeah. Oh. All right, here we go. And no, Nothing. no bite. Yeah, they're just gonna rotate themselves away. And the afterlife's not gonna be able to really pick up anything here, so it's gonna be just kind of a calm little swapperini bounty on the ember. And Ramsey. Oh yeah, you can already see the courier being being stopped there in the high ground. Oh yeah, they're afraid of the bounty hunter, even though he's nowhere close there. Yeah, he's in the mid. Well, but he's gonna reveal himself here because that block yeah. was pretty decent. That was so hard. that's not bad. God, Furion doing the Furion things Come with me. Try to somehow deal with this. Pulling the creeps. Oh yeah, pulling the creeps. Oh, it's gonna make it a little bit harder. He here. got it. Yeah, it's that's really oh. nice. That's good. Bone yeah, seven. That's how you punch her. Nice. There's the shards into a spectral dagger. There's the brain sap and no escape. That nice will be one. first blood. King, you're gonna grab himself some early boots, and that also does mean without the bounty hunter being in that lane, that that uh, healing salve could get out to Scandal, and that's gonna allow Scandal just to like, sit up in front of these creeps and just right click cancel, have himself some extra CS. All right, so cancel on his invoker. Most structure damage that game, 4,300. Oh, 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 the fairy fart not enough. Oh, so, the fairy fart did not save her against that shockwave. Yeah. Seder Tormentor is probably the best creep to get. Like, stick, you have six nukes that uh, deal 160 damage with uh, insane range. That's probably the best creep to get at level one. Even even the later yeah. games. I mean, I'm a ten player myself, and I think the Seder is just really strong right now. Other than the OP purge creep, right? Ah, uh, purge creep, that's useless. Oh, Bone 7, oh. nightmared up, another spectral dagger gonna come out, there's the dust, but there will be the nuke coming out, brain sap, but it's not gonna be enough, Bone 7 oh, will no. end up falling again, and now we have yeah. Sing Sing just returning back to his lane, even with that nuke, there was just not enough again. presence to save Bone 7. Yeah, two deaths already, two minutes in, it's like yeah, the last that's game. Not, that's not great for Bone 7. He died like it's 11 not. times last game, I believe, or like that. But it was space created. Yeah, yeah, but those those aren't space creation feeds there. <laughs> those are just feeds. Top. Oh, here we go. Afterlife. The uh, haste, just... but come with me. Yeah, nah, after. Oh no, he cancels the CP. Oh. What's come with me doing? He's like looking for him. <laughs> Quite get it. Nope, man, nothing. While in the bottom lane, we do have some right clicks going on. Nip's a little bit low, but Ramsey's grabbing herself some good CS. So how long do you keep this try lane going for? Is this kind of like one of these things where you get like a 7 minute, 10 minute try lane that Inspector can kind of live on her own against Enchantress? Or is this like, you have to babysit her the entire laning phase until the yeah. fight start? Kinda. When the Enchantress gets to level 6, it's just impetus a couple of times on the Spectre and it's just gonna have to go back to base. It's just horrible. So what is the interaction out of interest with the dispersion versus the impetus? Does it not do anything or does it help disperse some of the damage? Yeah, yeah, damage reflected. It's for, it works on all, all damage. I okay, believe. all damage type. Yeah. Alright, so Bounty Hunter just sitting over by mid. Looks like you may want to try to make some rotations, but i been having a rough game. Yeah, I'm really surprised that there's... Oh, I was telling you it's gonna be a trial versus trial mid, but there has been nothing going on in the mid. Like <laughs> Bone Seven hasn't been there even once, so I'm really surprised by. It. He went yeah. died two times in the bottom lane and then just tried to do something top, but he hasn't done really anything yet this game. Well, he's gonna get spotted out by the Sentry Ward in the mid. Like Puck's already ready. He can see him rotating in, and there's a couple right clicks just gonna reveal that. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
Meanwhile, on the bottom stings. There's a brain zap, but is it gonna be enough? Yeah, sure. Falling. Good kill overall. And Bone 7 continuing just to rotate, but. Like, is this bounty hunter really getting all that much done? No, he, well, Seems he's not be... getting anything done. Walking around. So how much does it hurt KP if uh, they don't get the early level 6 on Bounty Hunter? Is it not that big of a deal, or are they going to be really relying on the track kills early? Yeah, you kind of rely on just get doing work as Bounty Hunter in the early levels. If you don't do anything, it's 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 not good. Like, you're just playing a 4 versus 5 right now on KP. Like, Bone 7 hasn't really done anything yet. Alright, well, Invoker oh, maybe is now. doing well. Oh. Up at the top, we have Bone... Oh. Afterlife still okay, but... I mean, EE is positioning himself just to try to bully him out uh, of his lane. Oh, there's the Hex! Fix? And there's gonna be the Shackle along with the Sun Strike, and that's gonna be a kill. Cancel Dota, baby. Four Invokers, so there it is. But there is gonna be a rotation coming out of Scandal and Kinger. I mean, they want to try to secure this tower. They might be overstaying their welcome here. Finger, can you get the nightmare? Nope, nothing. That's not really a happy rotation. You no. lose the puck lane presence. The invoker yep. is going to continue farming himself away. And I mean, look at Turtle Envy. He's on. He's literally on fire because he's an ember. Oh, but thirty-eight. Yeah, some oh, of those what's are happening here? Ends. Yeah, yeah, but still, still that's... it's a lot yeah, of CS. It's pretty good. Pretty Five good. minutes, six minutes, yes. Pretty good. Uh... Oh, Kinger is gonna get spotted out by the bounty hunter. Okay. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, looks like Ramses is doing pretty okay against Sing Sing, even though she's by herself. Yeah, no more region on Ramses though, and Incentor is gonna get her at level 6 soon, so that's that's when you're gonna see the Spectre just suffering a lot. Alright, and Bone is now deep into the enemy forest now. I don't know, if, did Myth end up seeing that? Yeah, there's a ping. They're like, yeah, Bounty Hunter's here. Oh, but oh, is it really gonna matter? There's the snowball! Oh, the... oh wow! I mean, if that off. hit, that would have been amazing, if that hit. Uh, I mean, it could try though. A nice little interaction, I like it. Good. Yeah, it's level thinking right there. <laughs> Alright, so Bone7 back in the lane. Looks like uh, Spectre just gonna get a little bit of pressure on him, but the try lane is behind her. We do see Invoker kind of just saying, alright, push. Oh, oh no, Bone 7. There will be Illusionary Orb into a Dream Coil, and that is a dead little Bounty Hunter. And every little bit of pressure they put on this Bounty Hunter just delays his level 6. Yeah, that was I like, like a, that's good a pretty feed, good but, scenario. No. Yeah, it was a good feed. Sing Sing doesn't die there, so it's a good feed. Seven. A good feed? Tactical yeah. feed? All right. <laughs> yeah, tactical feed. Oh, Ramsey's actually getting super. Yeah, and Sensor's and... her 6 now, so Ramses can't do anything here. They just need to get the uh, gank so he can haunt in somewhere. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cancel, lock down, but Nip's gonna get that cold snap. Bone 7's ready to go on Afterlife, and we'll end up falling down, but Ramsey's gonna use that haunt. Wants to try to get a kill, but Afterlife. Oh, actually oh, gets no. taken out by the Aether Shock now. Oh. Ramsey's by himself. Oh no, he's alright. Just a little bit forward, but. That was uh, a use of the haunt, and they actually end up losing two. Yeah. So. Good rotation by uh, Kaipi, both Envy and come with me there. Coming there really fast. Now Sing oh. is just gonna get a lot. Oh. Eternal Envy oh. has the haste! Scandal is gonna oh. try to block himself out, but is it gonna be enough? There's not enough mana. He's gonna set that charge, <laughs> but. Oh, Eternal Envy, that map <laughs> awareness. He is gonna make a run for it with that haste, and Tuscar is not gonna really be able to do anything. You're only level four. Oh, Envy, what the hell was that? <laughs> How did he get there? Um, he had a so, yeah. remnant in the mid, yeah. and they saw Scandal was low. Was... Oh, look at the damage. Oh my goodness. Line. Just two impetus and... Yeah. Sing Sing on this... Oh, Kinger! This might not be good. There's gonna be rotation, so Sing Sing is just gonna use the heal preemptively and get himself he's back. Fine. Now. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Meanwhile, yeah. there was a, going to be a teleport from... Afterlife, but 
No go now. Oh, we have a smoked up come with me and Bone 7 invis near that tower. And they're just gonna drop the wards and just secure that as best they can. Yep. Do you feel like dedicating the wards for that was worth it? Oh, Kinger. Gonna get the brain sap, uses that dust, and things oh, and wow. falls into the double oh. kill from Afterlife! Oh my. Wow, uh, we did not see that coming. No, it was And not. oh, Afterlife, oh. he wants to go for the triple. Come with me. Looping around, oh, but one boots. more hit. Face boots. boots. Can he make it? He can go for it. Bro, out and cool down. Oh, there we go. That's close. Yeah, shout out Shaman's just so slow. Three, three, five moments, man. Really slow. Yeah, even like the mana boots don't really help with that either because they don't give you no. all that much base movement speed, but. Yeah, Spectre's really suffering right now. He needs to get the hunt kills right now, or he's just gonna not do anything this game. He needs to get the hunt kills right now. So, out of interest, how is Spectre doing considering the lane? Is this a really bad place for Spectre to be right now, or are we doing kind of okay? Because it looks like... Okay, he needs to get the drums and the magic one and then just go kill people. But yeah, she is compare grabbing that to the urn first. But, oh, they spot up on seven. And, I mean, afterlife no mana, but... Mm, are we really... Oh, yep, just TPing himself out. Oh yeah, look at Envy's farm though. Holy crap, again. Yeah, the one thing I will say about Eternal Envy is he is all about efficiency. He is yeah. by far one of the most efficient in Dota 2. I, I will say that pretty common. Yeah, definitely I would say the same. Our TC is pretty high up there, but not, not, not as good as Envy though. I think he's, yeah, he's on the mid now, so... Can't compare them anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so they do end up scouting out Bone Seven again with the Sentry Ward thing. Oh. Yeah. No. What's happening here? There's going to be a haunt coming in. Bleeding coil into the haunt, and it looks like Cancel is going to end up falling. Ramses, what are you doing? But there's going to be the snowball. Come with me. Uses the ward. Mip will be able to pick that off just in time. There's the flame remnant going on an afterlife. Scandal trying to get away, but ends up falling, and Afterlife actually tuck himself away, TP. uses the TP yeah, scroll. Yeah. yeah, he's fine, he's out of vision. Uh, but he's the one who survives that team fight. Yeah, it's this game is here. really tough right now for Empire. They needed to get those early hunt kills. Spectre's just gonna fall behind now so hard, and we super farm right now. Oh, second most farmed Amber Spirit at 10 minutes in terms yeah. of last hits in the good. history of Dota. So only one person has ever done this before in the history of Dota. Oh, Bone 7 falls He's to Tuskar. Goodbye. And Eternal Envy adds his boots of travel sitting on 1.5k golds. And just back to being like, um... Back to like that passive kind of farming game that we saw before. So what's the uh, win conditions for either of these teams? Are we just gonna look at Empire trying to take it as late as they possibly can? Even against an Ember who's probably going to be knowing Eternal Envy, picking up a Divine Rapier and tons of crazy damage? They just need to get pick house right now on Empire. Just go smoke with with Park, Bane and Tusk and the kills. We they tried it at the last time at the at the mid lane here, but it just didn't work out. They need to they just need to get killed somehow. Oh, well, it looks like, like they wanna just... kill yeah. things in here. They have the know. spectral dagger, they have haunts, they have three rotating in, there's gonna be a ping and oh they actually end up seeing bone seven. He's gonna get the track up, but there's the positioning and nice. goodbye again. Another urn charge in the pocket of Spectre. Four bone seven. Getting six chewed deaths up already. and spit out. Now he does have his level six though, so those track kills are gonna start yep. some good value. And speaking of track kills, let's actually take a look. KP is sitting at a 4k net worth lead, and yeah. same thing in terms of experience. Yep. 
Typically, if they draft Sing Sing and Enchantress, you know KP are going for... They're going for the kill. They want to win. You know, more. More so than normal, <laughs> but... Yeah. We have an invasion. Or maybe they can get the Sing Sing now. I don't know. Sing Sing is really tanky. Comes magic wand. Well, they do have the Fiend's Grip. Yeah. Let's see. 1 7 can just sure can to cancel it though, if he's close by. Oh, oh no. there it is, and it looks like it's gonna be oh. the case. There will be the Spectral Dagger, Sing Sing, one hit, nice. and. Oh, Afterlife actually ends up picking that kill with the Wrath of Nature. And Bone 7, like, wasn't even there. Like, he didn't try to cancel that. Yeah, he just wasn't close, but close enough there. He was just scouting the arrow right, right, right here for Sing Sing. Oh, they're gonna end up scouting out the Roshan attempt. Oh, Envy but... dies. Yeah. Oh! That's we missed Envy die kill. mid! That is actually insanely huge. And it's because oh, of that haunt, they scout out the Roshan yeah. as well. He can maybe even take it now because the wards are in the house. Yeah. Oh, they stopped it. Okay. Yeah, he's making sure he's spamming that stop button. Yeah. Hey, that's. That's what a couple of good tracks exactly coming what Empire out. needed. Empire has got is, so much gold out of that. Does Empire try to go for this Roche now that's like pretty much half dead, or do you just kind of wait it out? Oh, they see Bone oh, 7. Bone they seven. have the dust available. Oh, oh there bone it is. Bone 7, 7 deaths. <laughs> Alright. Well, he has his 7 deaths quota for the game, so Bone 7 will make a vow to no longer die. That's how it's gonna work. And now that this Roshan is thoroughly chewed, are we gonna see Empire make the play? No? They don't really have a great Rosh line. I don't feel. No. No way. So, Cancel sitting on a 60 minute Blink Midas. Not bad. He had a, he yeah. had a fun lane. Meanwhile, Scandal just sitting on a, a Blink Brown Boots. And Bone 7 just continuing nice his. Yeah, he's gonna try to get that D ward. Yeah, I cancels. Oh. Oh, there Did we are. The... And there's a. Yeah, into the. Oh, but cancel! He's actually trapped! He can't get away! He has the TP! But is it gonna be enough? Where's the nightmare? Oh, so what? close. <laughs> it just didn't have the vision there. Oh, God, that's so close. Oh, at the top, Ramsey's and Turtle Envy going up against each other, but yeah, you can't man fight that Spectre with that Death Slate. Yep. Yeah, Spectre's pretty okay now after the not not so good landing phase. All right, so back up there. We're taking a look at just like item progression, and we see the drums on Afterlife and Ramsey's. Uh oh, never mind. Here we go. Sing Sing getting initiated on. Yeah, and they're getting the pickups pick I was talking about. This is what exactly what they need. They just need to get constant pickups, and they're getting them. Empire's definitely back in this game now. Oh, they're trying to go for the Roshan again, and he's even lower this time. Do have the tracks coming out, and they do know that they do not have the haunt, and they do not have the uh, fiend's grip. Oh, bye bye. Available. So, oh. Yeah, they want to make sure that they get this Roshan and Eternal Envy. Oh, pick up the double damage! This is really good for them. I don't think Empire can contest, can they? Are they going to try? Oh... There's What's going there? on? Oh, this is so... Are they going to go? That Kinger is going to get picked off. And Empire are going to be forced to disengage, so it is okay. going to be a Roshan for KP. Oh, but they had to dedicate so much mid, yeah, trying get to get gone. away. Yeah. That was really unfortunate for Team Empire. Yeah. But I mean, at least Ramses is continuing to farm, you know? Has close to Yasha, gets the bounty room. So, what's the plan with this Aegis? Is this when you start, when you secure the mid tower? Try to get a little bit more map control because KP are sitting on every single one of their towers, so map control is definitely in their favor. Yeah, 
go push with the Aegis. We can do that. I still need, uh, okay, and, and we have to battle for it, so yeah. We can probably go for it. They still wanna farm a little bit more with these heroes. Some more items. Eternal Envy 10k, 19 minutes. Holy crap. CS. 160 what? Yes. Yeah, he, this guy knows how to farm. Totally. Give me, give me your skills, the turtle. Give me your. <laughs> Alright, hey, so here we see the is... famous Furion Cliff jungling. Yeah, it actually gets spotted out by Bone 7 too, so. Are we gonna see maybe Eternal Envy make a Oh no, there's five here. Oh, There's bombs. gonna be a dust. Oh. Oh. Space created, space created, space created. Right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Base. Oh, he's gonna die now. His enemies is gonna no. die. Now. Oh, oh, no, he's Bounty fine. He's fine. Stay, no. Oh, oh no, but they, they see him with the haunt, but mid. it looks like they're actually gonna make play mid. Come with me. Ah. Right click down, even with the hex, and maybe they wanna try to just force this mid. Yeah, we are gonna see a rotation from KP. And Eternal Envy is ready to fight. I think they can do this now. Yeah, they have the Aegis. Envy is super farm. They can't do this. Just again, getting a pick off. This is what the Empire needs. Just getting the pick offs like this. So they just need to play. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful ancient stack. Oh. Oh, my farm. How do you even deal? Like, how do you deal with a super armed Ember like this? Um, oh, died. meanwhile, Bone 7 died. <laughs> We don't need to, that was to be expected. It was all yeah, planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> I actually really like Bone7's play. Like, I, I, we're, I guess we, we're, we're not flaming him. It's just, it's a hard game for him. He's 1 in 10. Like, pretty rough. Also, the other thing is, I think Bone7 isn't really used to playing that role on this particular team. Yeah. So that could be also something that's kind of affecting his play a yeah, little bit. Definitely. Yeah, he usually plays a lot better. Cause I've seen him. I saw him play like a gyro clink and a clinks game. Yeah. Uh, before, just like in the previous series, season four, and he was a scary guy. Like that was a scary gyrocopter. He ended up solo winning that game. They were so far behind, he just like took it back. Oh, glimmer! I'm getting himself away from Ramses. So with Ember, kind of. Force, like he's gonna probably be able to force these tow more towers down. He's just gonna continue farming all over the map. How does the Spectre keep up? Like, do you just have to keep? Oh, come with me. Yeah, he's just dropping the wards, but I think it's gonna be still too late for him. And King are just gonna teleport himself out. That yeah. sun strike was a little cheeky. You know, could have maybe done something, but yeah, just to get the vision right. Can pick off our empire. This is what they just cancel. They get these pick offs. They didn't even need to use Haunt for that. So they have it off if they want to go for more now. And it looks like they have spotted out their next pickoff, which is going to be Cancel. Alright, so... Farming himself away. It's a little bit passive, guys, right now. But don't worry, I'm sure we're going to see some good fights. This Haunt now being up. Just Burion just standing in the cliff. <laughs> well, like I mean, he has to, he can't really game. split push. He can't go up like, face to face against an Ember. The Ember, like, Eternal Ember is going to get up on your face. He's going to make sure. Oh, oh. mid. TT <laughs> towards. <laughs> Alright, there's going to be a Sun Strike. Oh, oh. Cancel. <laughs> all that hurts. No, fine. It was so close. Candle. On the edge. Life. But yeah, Cancel has been on point with these Sun Strikes. Gotta calm down, man. Gotta tone it down. So Max Exort has his Midas, has the Blink, has the Yules. He's ready to probably start making some of those good old meatball combos. But uh, I, I noticed that like KP aren't really super fighting. And is that just because Team Empire is just always getting like those singular pickups? And yeah. that's why they can't really group up. I mean, we also saw come with me using his wards. He dedicated that to try to mitigate the gank, but it didn't really go well. But he has it back up in 11 seconds. Oh, 
we have a smoke mid. Oh, bone. He's gonna lead the charge. I'm gonna get touched. Oh, here. mip. And it's a track kill too. Yeah, he's there's no chance for him. Yeah, and snowball the ancients here. If there were actually a black dragon, snowball into the black dragon, and he would maybe survive there. So it's a maybe. The big maybe. Yeah. It's yeah. One of those things. Yeah. Didn't even really get a chance to get that off. Oh, scandal! Oh, cancel! He's just gone. He's using the illusion arrow. He's gonna get himself to safety. But there is gonna be a track along with the wards, and that's gonna mean that tier oh, two envy. shipped away. Oh, what's happening with envy? <laughs> Up at the top. Oh, um, the tier with the inscript. I was paying too much attention. To it, and now we are gonna go in another fight. Spectral dagger and Ramses is gonna farm these wards. I should have been looking top. All right, but it's gonna be the Dwarf falling finally. That's gonna be the first tower in the pocket of Team Empire. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Meanwhile, Scandal just having some fun. He has a Dagon. What do you feel? How do you feel about that pickup? Um, is, that, is that the choice? Is that what you wanted as the puck? Yeah, is that I think. Standard. Got... Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's, it's hard to say. I think it's good, you can just kill that Shadow Shaman, Enchantress and Baldi Hunter really easily and quickly. The X doesn't do anything this game. Yeah, he's going for the Yules now, so he can kill a little bit more. Yeah, I was gonna say I would prioritize the Yules over, but uh, yeah. he, he's already getting it, so... We're good. Alright, actually, let's actually talk about the uh, farm progression so far. So Eternal Envy, Blink, he has his Crystallis, he has his Battle Fury, Boots of Travel, he's insanely farmed. Actually, we'll talk about that in a second. We have Kinger with the Aether Lens, we have Manta now on Ramses. How do you feel about the Manta? Yeah, absolutely. This is the right way to play, play Spectre. Exactly the right items. Magic Wand, Urn, Drums, Manta. You do actually, you actually do so much damage with, like, with Manta, because the Manta will also get the Desolate damage. So that's 65 pure damage with each of each of your hits, on just from the, from the Desolate damage. It's a lot of damage if, if you manage to get somebody who's alone. Super good. Um, don't, don't think the Radiance is that good this game. Um, yeah, I wasn't thinking maybe... Uh, is it then... Are you gonna try to go more stats? Like, what's the next item coming out of Spectre? Like, oh, are you, you go for looking Diffusal for a, then. The Diffusal? Alright. Yeah, you can take off the tracks. Um, you can take off the... What is it? The Bolas things, what are they called? Can you purge... Ember. Can you get rid of the Flame Guard off of Ember with the Diffusal? Yeah, light? you can do that as well. Oh, it's, that's really good. It's, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, in some situations it's gonna be good. Well... But it's more or less for the damage, really, and the track, to take off the track. Alright. Meanwhile, at the bottom tower we see the creeps pushing in, and then we have our three heroes in position. That doesn't look like... yeah, it's gonna be 3v3. Oh, I don't... Um... do they... do oh, they this fight is the base. this? And uh... he's gonna go bait here. And... Oh! You see? Let's yeah, he's gonna see. walk right underneath those sets. Oh, there they go, they're all gonna go in. Dagon, but he's already dead. Come with me, he uses a glimmer cape. Yeah. Bones Iron was just testing the waters there. How, how was <laughs> it there for Envy? Wasn't good, so Envy goes back, doesn't die. <laughs> it was like, uh... <laughs> it, it's it's like the poor like, little bait fish against the sharks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, send him out. Yep. Oh yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine. Just... <laughs> Completely destroyed instantaneously. There's like no chance. I think he right, has so... dropped his came in, came in back here. He was doing very well early game, but he hasn't done anything. Really. Well, he's still working on the Agatum Scepter. Oh. Oh, uh, oh he died to the, the Sunstrike. Sunstrike yeah, in the base. Sunstrike in the base. I was like, what? How did he die? He was like, he was low, but there was no one else in lane. They must have just saw him keeping oh, out. Smoke from Kai P now. Alright, so. I coming in. Hit anyone. Are they. Oh, oh are they Roche, just gonna yeah. go for Roche? Oh, okay, yeah, they're just gonna secure Roche. And there are the wards, so. I'm gonna, I guess, keep pushing top with Scandal and Kinger. Not really anything Empire can do about this. They do have the haunt available, but there's no one else really that can lend any support. So, all right, let's. 
Anything big? Uh, Mips picked up a solar crest, and the Daedalus has now come out on Eternal Envy. Hey. All right, yeah. so KP, they have the Aegis. What's the plan? Are you going to go just tier these tier twos? Are you going to go team fight? Yeah, I think they should get the tier twos. And we can play a little bit more aggressive now with that. With the Aegis. And yeah, he's. And we really need to get a link in this game. Though. There's a. There's a Fiend's Creep, and is there a. Yeah, there's an Orchid from the Furion. He really needs to get out. Lincoln's here to survive this game. Oh, Ramses gets tracked. And we are seeing Eternal Envy with the haste coming up top. Is this going to be. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh, I'm just kind of going to try to hold the ground. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. But well, it's gonna be tier two, tier two, tier two. So Envy's gonna defend this. Meanwhile, at the bottom, see the push continuing forward, and it's gonna be Ramses versus the world. It's like Empire have to pull themselves back. Yeah, now Envy can just go push here and with the Aegis. He doesn't have to care about ganks. Our, he doesn't want to waste his creep on just that Aegis. Yeah, the other thing about Eternal Envy is he's always going to have like a defensive remnant up. You're not going to really be able to ever yeah, yeah, of course. pick him off. And on a side note, I just want to take a look at this CS again. 308. Holy crap. 30 minutes. 100 CS. 10 minutes. It's pretty good. Yeah, 10 CS per minute is really good. I mean, although some of them are going to be the tree ends, but still. I just like yeah, that even big so. huge number. I don't think... <laughs> So it's it's like a super passive game. It, I feel like KP they don't want to fight into the team, but it's also like kind of vice versa. Like no one really wants to commit because if any one of them lose that fight, they end up losing a lot. They lose a yeah. lot of ground. Oh, going for the push now. High ground siege. There's a T3. Yeah. Just gonna put it up on Ramsey, but Eternal yeah. Envy keeps slicing through all of them. This is gonna be the huge combo coming out of Cancel and. Two are down, they have the haunts, but Eternal Envy still right clicking away. He's just gonna pop himself back with that defense remnant, and then we have another track coming in on Kinger. Meanwhile, these wards are just continuing to destroy. The Ages of the Immortal will be popped, and now we have Eternal Envy going in. Kinger, just one more right click. Oh, he gets the nightmare off and denies. Oh, what a himself. deny! What a deny, but it sounds really gonna matter. Oh, are they gonna be forced to pack? Yeah. If he wants to play it safe, I'll go in here. Yeah, Scandal, a little bit low, man. Oh, Eternal oh. Envy. Oh. <laughs> Almost got it. Just edge. Just oh barely missed. That could have been a big pickoff. That was yeah. dangerous. Okay, just go back to farming, wait for the rose, or wait for a pickoff, and then they can go back to getting pushing the high ground. Yeah, and kind of a, like the anti draft of what happened last time, KP kind of had a really hard time breaking Empire high ground, and this time that's not the case at all. They have Enchantress, who can just put some creeps up top there, they have the wards, they have of course Invoker, who's going to be able to have a little bit of fun with uh, his good old forge spirits, so definitely not the same scenario, and that doesn't give Empire as much leeway, I think, this game. Yeah, it's more that Empire doesn't have such a good high ground defense this game, it's more that. Um, Ember's really bad high ground pusher. He can't. He just can't go up there and power. It doesn't work that way. He, they need to get kills and then Ember can go hit the buildings. And that's so exactly Ember... what we saw there. And, and we jumped in there with the blink. Oh yeah. Sorry, just on a, on a side note. So Ember picks up the BKB over the Lincoln Sphere. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna go for a Lincoln's now. Do you, like, how do you feel about it? Is that just like a preference mm -hmm. thing or is BKB better in this case? Because I felt you mentioned that the Fiend's Grip, Fiend's Grip, it goes through BKB. And yeah. you thought that maybe Lincoln's would have been a better choice here. Do you kind of still stand by that or do you feel like BKB is Yeah, this is just a okay. different style of, if you go for the BKB, yeah, this is exa exactly what they need to do. Uh, they just go yeah. for the push if, with the BKB. But he wants to split push more, the Lincoln's is better for that, so you don't die for the, the Fiend's Grip. But the BKB is better for if you just want to go team fight right now. And yeah, I think that's actually the better style to play this. All right, so Mip all alone, just a tusk trying to save his base from the onslaught of the dire. 
And there will be another commitment of the wards, and they're going to try to go for this melee. So you can get you know, the little bit of a tornado coming in. The storm, and there's a big tornado coming in. There will be the haunt. Eternal Envy pops that BKB. Ramsey next oh, up. In is he going to survive? Eternal Envy is hungry for that kill, and he is going to end up getting it. Meanwhile, the pot ends up falling the oh, buyback wow. from the Spectre, oh, and there's wow. the ultra rampage. kill from Eternal go Envy. Go for the rampage, Eternal. Go, go. Gonna try to go for it. Is it enough time? Cancel is getting very close to death. Oh, sing, sing, what sing, are you sing, doing? Sing, with a double <laughs> kill. Oh. <laughs> Going. <laughs> well, high ground is officially broken. The gem will get picked oh. up by Sing Sing, and KP will pull themselves back all significantly low. But yeah. that's a whole bunch of forced buybacks. I don't know what does Empire do to bring this back. Oh. They just bought back on like every single one of their cores. Everyone's on buyback clown. Yeah, it's high ground's gone, them, no yeah. racks. This is such an uphill battle. Like, is it possible for a Spectre to really try to, like, weather the storm? Like, can she be strong enough in the late game against this Ember? Because Eternal Envy is just slicing through them so fast. Like, she yeah. was just gone. Like, one crit, two crits, and yeah. it didn't even it matter. Was the it was just a DD. Oh, in case you needed more evidence of the of Eternal Envy, the highest net worth Ember at a 35 minute mark ever in this patch. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. It's a good game. 362 CS. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he went for the Scotty? Yeah. Do you, do you like the Scotty? I, it, it slows everyone down, it applies on the sleight of fist. It's not about the slow, tank. it's just about that it makes you tank here, that's what it's all about really. I think, yeah, if you if you don't go for the Lincoln, this is the build. You just get a BKB and a uh, Skadi, you don't actually die. You're gonna team fight with this a lot better. Well, and on a side note, we saw Eternal Envy, he didn't really even get that low during the last fight. He was tanky oh, he enough did. to really he deal. He did. Well, it, he, got he was low, but you know, it was like Eternal Envy fighting when he's low. It's, okay. it's not really that Interesting. close. Oh, Maybe. was that a misclick? <laughs> Give him a couple pings, dude, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just pings him, even the spectators are pinging him. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's probably one of those muscle memory things, you know, he probably just like swapped out his spinning or something. Oh, but oh. cancel! He's forced up to there's going to be the Windler Cape, but it's not going to be enough. He gets picked off, so does the oh, Bounty no. Hunter, but Eternal Envy is here. Sing Sing, still right pushing, no. but Sing Sing. There's a fiend script! Bro. There's four down! Only Eternal Envy survives and here's Evil Scepter! He's gonna try to keep on fighting! He uses that remnant! He uses the second remnant, but they're still chasing! They have him locked down! There's oh. another couple good, but the Evil Scepter takes off the Tuskar, but he's just too much damage. It's gonna be a triple kill for Ramses, and that is a five-man team wipe coming out of KP. That is not 3 2 2. <laughs> 3 22, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, what happened to... there? What went wrong? Was it and... was it the, just that force staff that brought Cancel out like so far out of position and then at that point they KP like stayed for the fight. Yeah, two couldn't have because they didn't have an invoker anymore. Yeah, two things went wrong there. Envy was just, he went to base to region up and exactly when he was in the in the base, uh, Empire initiate and Cancel gets caught up and the rest of the team as well. And they didn't also, have no BKB. Envy for that. Point. There's no BKB for that, which yeah. was yeah, not yeah, also really bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of things went bad though. You, can't, you have to go one series with like one Envyism, come on. <laughs> Two death oh, the Nightmare! Cut on Bone 7! Looks like we might end up hitting that! He's poor staff into a weird corner, but... Ramsey's gonna be able to pick that up. They're gonna oh, keep on chasing. Me. Come with me. He's gonna use the wards, but afterlife is gonna be just fine. Oh my god. Three down. This is such correction of one death away. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my. Tier this two is going down. This is officially tier two right now. Who? No one has buyback. Look at the net worth. There's Look no at the net worth and XP change. I'm oh scared. I'm scared god. of the net worth. Look at that. Look at the XP. Dip. 15k. To oh buy, like almost five thousand. Oh my goodness, the XP is in this <laughs> Empire's favor. Oh my oh. god.
My heart is like pounding so fast. <laughs> this game, I was certain. I was kind of like, oh, darn, Empire. But this, oh, Empire, thank you. <laughs> Great Dota right here, guys. What is it? Oh, all right, Ramses has the relic. Is that oh, no. going to be the the Ramses? Oh, it's a big courier. Not quite fast <laughs> enough though. Ramses will get the courier goes down. Yeah, he had he had a HS there, so they didn't want to go for him. He would go for the radiance a bit late. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. What would be what would be like the alternative item in that case? Like, well, I, maybe it's too already... late for like a San Dinyasha. No, that's too. You already have a Manta. You, you, don't you already to, have the Manta, like. You you go for a Scotty, Heart, or Scotty? Butterfly. Think oh, Heart. Maybe. Butterfly would be pretty good here as well. I don't know. I don't know oh. how weird thing that makes On top. Tinger. Right click into the haunt. Is it gonna be enough? But come with me, it's very low, the neck is pop, bone seven on the run, the deafening blast comes out, but oh my goodness, two go down, and so is that Spectre. The Aegis is popped, Eternal Envy continues to right click afterlife. Maybe is down, there's the hex. Eternal Envy gets the dream foil up. He's gonna try to get himself away. He does get the nature's profit. Phase shift, and is slightly stunned up, but no one is alive, and it's a return. Five man team wipe on Team Empire. Back and forth, both these teams are just doing their best to try to wrestle this game into their favor. Boys. Yeah. So, back, back with a little bit of dip. You know, Empire 5k ahead. Meanwhile, Team Net were still, you know, pretty secure at 10k overall. Um, a team that at 15 to 20k ahead at 35 minute like uh, Kai P was has a 96% win rate. Holy crud. If Empire win, it'll be in the top 20 biggest comebacks of this patch. All right, guys. Well, chat, whoever you're rooting for, give them your energy. So I think we're going to see oh. one big last rally here with Eternal Envy leading the charge yeah. towards the tier moon three. As well on him. It, yeah. So there will be the fortify. Is there a buyback on Spectre? No, there isn't. 300 gold off. So they might end up having to give up these racks, but I don't think it's the end of the game by far. Oh, Ward's mid. It might be. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they're gonna reward mid. You're kind of stuck between oh, a no, rock no, and a hard no. place. You have to try to do your best. So no BGP on the enemy anymore. Yeah, they don't. There's just spectral oh, dagger. They're gonna go in. And Yuzel on Sing Sing. Ramsey is gonna probably be able to get that kill. There's gonna be the Yule Scepter. Oh, Link himself out, but there's the haunt. That radiant damage is gonna take out the Shadow Shaman. Gonna be hacked. And text up oh, silence. Can't God. get away. He uses the Manta. What is going on? What is happening? <laughs> Three two twos. What, what's happening, guys? I don't know, but it's some amazing stuff we're seeing right now. Let's take a look at the overall fight recap. So that's 3,000 gold, 5,000 experience for Team Empire. We have now buyback on the Spectre. No buyback on Eternal Envy. He's off by 140 gold. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. 70 seconds. God. Yeah, they have Empire have everybody here, except for the Bane. They can do this. All right, and there's going to be the Solar Crest. There will be a track coming out, but Flat 2, 3, most likely just going to be completely dismantled. Still 110 gold for Eternal Envy. Yeah. Or he has that buyback, and that's not a great place for him to be. We still have oh, Cancel. Gonna gonna get the, he's going to try to he's get, gonna the, get racks. the racks. And Envy is going to get money from this for the buyback. Oh, no, he's going to get the buyback. Do it. Cancel. Envy has buyback money right now. So I think they're gonna let use these it. racks still fall. I don't think you really want to. He has 30 seconds left. Yeah. I think they're gonna wait. If they go for the second racks, I think that's when we see the buyback. But there's a tornado yeah. into two. EMP comes out. It's not oh, gonna be all that effective. Out. Uses the Manta to disjoint yeah. the impetus shot. And Team Empire are just gonna pull okay. themselves back. But that was a little cheeky play from Cancel. Yeah. So now everyone has a buyback except for the Shadow Shop. And Bane. Bane's purchased himself a BKB. Tank himself up. 
All right, let's quickly do a quick item check. So, Scandal, Sheepstick, with Dagon, it's still a low-level Dagon, unfortunately. Afterlife has the Mjolnir, the Orchid, the BKB. Ooh. And we have three Aghanim Scepters, Sing Sing, Cancel, and Come With Me actually has his Aghanim Scepter. Do you feel like that was a good prioritization for him, or would you have rather seen a different item on him than the Aghanims? Oh, on who? On uh, the Shadow Shaman. Uh, come um, with me, no, I think it's fine, thing. yeah. It, the axe on Shadow Shaman is huge. The damage buff it gives, it's absolutely huge. It works really well here. You can just rat, rat the mid tower there if, it, if a fight, fight happens somewhere else. All right, so oh. Eternal Envy, 30k net worth. We have 21 uh, on the Spectre and 20k oh, on the Nature's Prophet. Oh, that's the GG rune right there. There you go. That's God, a scary, scary gonna Amber happen. Spirit. I don't think anything is going to happen. He could do it. He could just run into the jungle. Yeah, Get that a good would be smart. Um, is it Divine Rapier time for Eternal Envy? Is, it th is that the next item that we're going to see coming out on him? Come on, Probably. Divine Rapier Maybe. Gaming. I mean, yeah, he has <laughs> Moonshard Eden already. Yep. Okay. So it's a little bit of scouting out. I don't feel like Smoke. either team want to... Like, oh, they're going to loop around. They're going to go... All the way around. Now, whether or not Team Empire are going to end up seeing this, their, oh, their Dota senses uh, are tingling. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Colonel Envy leading the charge. They're going to loop around. Oh. Oh, Myth goes in, but there's going to be the pickoff by the fist and Myth. Kinger, the next victim, uses the Fiend Drift on Eternal Envy. Is it going to be enough? He's going to go down so quickly, though. And Ramsey's getting sliced through. Eternal Envy is not going to have any of this, but there will be the Hex coming out on EE. Ramsey can't hit him through this wall. He's going to have to run away. Slide of Fist comes out. Buyback on the Tuskar and the Nature's Prophet. Is it going to be enough back. to pull him around? Envy is going to end up buying back as well. Does he have a Remnant in play? Yeah. This yep, is game there over. he is. Oh, game Empire. Over. No buyback in Spectre. Or Bane, oh, or let's take a look. Yeah, no buybacks on Team Empire, and it looks like KP are going to be able to make the push for that final mid racks and secure themselves those yeah. mega creeps. Let's play played there by cancel using the ice wall just to slow down the specter. He couldn't do anything that fight. He got the hard yeah, off, but the... he didn't do anything there. That ice wall was really clutch, and on top of that, the Nature Prophet kind of stopped some right click damage coming in from uh, the specter on Eternal Envy. Even though yeah. we did have the buyback, but it could have oh. been the difference between our- Oh, are they just going- <laughs> just going no. like all the- He's no. just like, I'm just gonna rat you guys, but not gonna happen. Afterlife tried his best. Yeah, pretty optimistic. But... That's right. But yeah, you gotta try. Does Empire GG out of this, or do you fight to the bitter end? I mean, Bane versus Five. I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. No, Alright, it will be the GG. Well played, coming out of Kinger and the rest of the squad, and it will be a victory for KP. They take the series 2-0, and oh, and now the Blood Feud has been set by both these teams. Yep. KP taking two series out of, out of their history. So 